This is Matt Bertuzzi from The Bridge Group, and I'm going to share a quick walkthrough of Salesforce IQ for Sales Cloud, and I'm showing my business Gmail account. So here we have an email from Keith Paul at Haywire. Uh, the first thing I want to do is see if Keith is in my instance of Salesforce. So opening up Salesforce IQ, I can see that there's no record found for Keith. So what I can do now is I'm just going to create him. I can create him as a lead. I actually want him as a contact right within Gmail without leaving. And I want to see if Haywire is in Salesforce. Oh, let's see, it doesn't look like it, but we can create a new account. And here's some information here. That's their, that's their domain. Perfect. So two clicks, and I can create both an account and a lead for Keith. And if I click here, it'll bring me right to my instance of Salesforce. So now that Keith is in Salesforce, I want to log this email. Two clicks, I can log the email right here to his contact. If there was an opportunity, I could log it, I could associate it with the opportunity as well, but that's not the case. So I am logging it into Salesforce. So now I want to respond. So some of the things that I'm super excited about uh, in, in this app are, let me show you them. Obviously there's read receipts, right? Everybody likes to know if their emails are being opened. You can also do send later. This is super useful for sales reps if they're sending emails and they want them to be received you know, either early or late in different time zones, or if they want it to be received over the weekend because they'll have better open rates. Things you can do right here. I could say, all right, you know, delay this email, send it after two days. Pick my time, pick my date, everything right there. I can also use short codes. This is kind of cool. I actually have a short code for calendar because I'm going to see if he, any of the times on my calendar work for Keith. So now I'm going to insert my availability. And this is going to sync to my Google Calendar, my, my corporate Google Calendar. It'll take the name of the meeting will be the name of his email. And I can just pick a few times that work for me and insert them right in. Now you get this beautiful calendar picker right within the email. Sorry, it's not quite big enough, but you get the you can see here, it's all the times I've selected. This is what it's gonna look like on Keith's end. And when I hit send, he'll be presented with this calendar and able to just one click and confirm a meeting, put it on my calendar and send me a confirmation. It's pretty powerful stuff. Now I don't actually want to send Keith an email. He was just my test subject, no offense, Keith. Um, but I think that gives you a good view of the different things I can do right within Gmail. I didn't leave Gmail. I created two new records. I created an account and a contact. I logged an email. I'm able to send an email with a read receipt either now or in the future. I was able to insert my availability from my Google Calendar, and I could use short codes to kind of save myself some of the stuff that I type over and over again. It's pretty powerful stuff, and that is Salesforce IQ for Sales Cloud.